We have now two minutes left. If there is any question, urgent question, I will give you the floor. Thank you. I just want to add one thing. We, we talked about big power, but we should talk also about decentralized power today. It's amazing what's going on. We have this project on wind and solar, but also we are helping farmers to switch from diesel pump to solar pumps. We're talking about 300 megawatt today installed just for solar pumping. We are talking about helping people to reduce their energy consumption. Energy efficiency is a key also at the same time as renewable energy. We need to have this approach with energy efficiency. Another point, when you mentioned, and uh, uh, Mr. Upper talked about biomethane. Here in this city, in Marrakech, you can visit the station de transfer, the, the treatment des eaux usées. We are using biomass, biogas coming from those treatment st water treatment station. And that's why we are looking for all technologies, as Mrs. Benali talked about. Many solutions are here. But we have centralized ones with a very low price. We're talking about three cents per kilowatt hour for the wind, four cents per kilowatt hour for PV. It's amazing what's going on, the price. And Mr. Kopper mentioned that it's very important how the impact for power is one thing, but power for, pop for the population directly. Many solar roofs in the industry are under development today in Morocco. We're talking about thousands of megawatts that can be installed in the future, just decentralized in this decentralized way. And it's very as important as the other project. Thank you. Thank you very much for very good input to our discussion. Just as uh, Masuda-san said, uh, we need action. So maybe next year, I mean, not only discussing the things like this, can we visit the plant, biogas plant in Marrakesh as a group? That is much more interesting than discussing the issues for yes. in an endless manner. Please. You allow me, uh, yes. Chairman, very rapidly. Uh, I think uh, uh, biomethane methane production is on the verge of rapid development. Reason is, I'm involved in an enterprise in Montreal that uh, that does um, uh, urban waste management, all kinds of urban waste, and uh, we started five years ago to produce uh, biomethane and. Uh, uh, we do produce it, we do collect it, we do clean it, bring it to pipeline quality, and then we re-inject in the pipeline and we, through swaps, we sell methane through North America. It has become, on our P&L, the first line for revenue and contribution to the EBITDA. So it's a real success. So and. Uh, and the, the, uh, in South America nowadays, it's, they're going through a privatization of this industry. And uh, we are attracted, of course, by that. And uh, so are the, uh, the funds, the large funds. Because the sea in urban waste uh, equipment uh, installations, the same thing as they saw when I was in the electricity sector, as a, a huge potential for them to invest. Uh, and uh, we've done that in uh, Chile and Peru and uh, Colombia, all over uh, South America. Secondly, it's another the very different uh, 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 remark. I do agree fully with you, Chairman, that uh, it's a very good idea to interconnect Siberia with North Korea and South Korea because in cyber there's a huge hydro uh, potential. And, uh, and that would, uh, I think, uh, uh, support peace efforts between the North and the South, uh, and South Korea. That were my two remarks. Thank you very much. Uh, the time is up, but uh, I, I think uh, we had another interesting discussion, starting with bio. Uh, Metan and uh, uh, congratulations, Olivier. That was a very interesting in input, and we have certain uh, you know discussion about uh, this issue. Um, uh, well, uh, please uh, join me thanking the uh, six panelists for the interesting discussion t tonight. And Chairman's role. Thank you. <laughs> You're most welcome. Let's see the biomethane plant next year.
can visit also some solar sure. farms. Sure, fine. So, solar Maybe that is much more fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>